Hey everyone, welcome back to my guide on modding Fallout New Vegas for PC in 2017. This is the first episode in the series, and in this episode I'm going to walk you through how to configure your computer so that you can install the mods that you want for New Vegas. So in this episode, we're going to go ahead and install the New Vegas script extender as well as the 4 gigabyte memory patch for New Vegas. And we will look at some ENBs and install an EMB for enhanced lighting effects. Once we've done that, then that will open the door to actually install the mods that you may want to install to change the game and to add new features and new quests and things like that. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is go into Steam and if you've got the Fallout New Vegas already installed, you might want to uh, verify the files. So we're going to go to Properties, Local Files, Verify Integrity of Game Cache. And what I typically do here is if you have mods or if you have already have some mods and you want to start over, just delete everything in that root directory for Fallout New Vegas or I'll just re-download the, whole, the uh, entire game again. But at the very least, I'll typically get rid of everything in the root directory, delete that, and then come here and do a validate, and then it will re-pull those files down. I think it's like 25 megs, so it's not a big deal. But you've run, run into trouble while you're doing this uh, with trying to get the 4 gigabyte patch and the ENVs to work together correctly. That's your step to, uh, to do what you need to do. So once we have got Fallout New Vegas installed through Steam, we're just going to make sure that it actually works. So we're going to go here to go to options, and then we're going to go, uh, I'm going to go in windowed mode here, and let it set it to 720. Let's just kick it off to make sure it works. So it does come up, and we're just going to check the game here real quick to, uh, to make sure it works. We need an old save though that hasn't been highly modified. So we'll try to find one in here. All right, here's one, I think. Let's load this up, and it should be a fresh Fallout New Vegas with no mods at all. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's what the vanilla game looks like there with all the hideous textures and everything. Okay, so game looks like it works, so that's a good starting point. Okay, so we've exited out of that game. So what we're going to go ahead and do here, and I'm going to go into offline mode as well. Okay, so what we're going to go ahead and do, the first thing that we need to do is install the New Vegas Script Extender. In a nutshell, the Script Extender exposes a whole bunch of new scripting capabilities to modders, so they could do a bunch of things with the game that they wouldn't normally be able to do. Uh, most of the good mods that you're going to want are going to use the script extender, so it's pretty much an absolute must. So we're going to download this New Vegas script extender uh, from the website, which is here. Also, check the description below. I put the links in there. Uh, but we are going to go ahead and download that script extender. So we have open up the archive, and then here we see we've got some NVSC loader and editor and some DLLs and things like that. So we're going to want to go to our installation directory for New Vegas, which in my case you can see here that I'm installing my games on in the C drive under games, Steam, Steam apps, common, Fallout New Vegas. Your directory, if you haven't changed it, is probably C program files x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Fallout New Vegas. So what we're going to want to do here is we're going to want to grab all the EXEs and DLLs. You can grab everything if you want, but I like to leave the text readme files out of here. And you don't need the SRC, which is the source code. So we're just going to copy those files into the directory for New Vegas. And then uh, we're going to step through this one at a time to make sure that everything works. So to test the New Vegas script extender, we're going to click the NVSC loader EXE. And what should happen is it should kick the game right off, no launcher or anything like that. And as we see, that, that worked just fine. All right, so we just want to do a quick check here to make sure that the NVSC is working. So we're going to hit the tilde key on the... 
have to unplug the controller of course hit tilde key on the keyboard and type get nvse version and it says nvse version 5 so we do have the script extender working and we do have the uh, correct version there so we're going to quit okay so that's all there is to the script extender it's now working so the next thing that we want to do is do the four gigabyte memory patch so we're going to get the four gigabyte memory patch from a site called nexus mods to download files here you are going to need an account and but it is free so uh you go to this link and then it, when you go to download it the only option is a manual download uh, and then when you try to download it will probably ask you for your account information again it is free they may harass you to like donate but you don't have to just skip all that uh, begging for cash and do the download and once you've done the download you will have the four gigabyte patch so we're going to open this guy up and inside here we're going to have a fnv 4 gigabyte underscore helper dll and the fnv 4 gigabyte exe these two files again we're going to want to copy those into the root of the new vegas directory as well and then once we've done that to test this we're going to go ahead and click the fnv 4 gbexe and it should load the game up and now we're the game is running with a patch that allows the game to use up to four gigabytes of memory i think by default uh, the game traditionally only has access to uh, one gig or two gigs at the most so uh, this is really a requirement if you're going to do uh, planning on doing any graphical mods uh, the amount of video memory required for those graphical mods uh, is going to exceed what the limit is on the default binary so uh, keep that in mind okay so from this point you could actually start modding your games if you are not concerned about an enb uh, but i i really like to play uh these bethesda games with the enbs it really enhances the lighting and, and it's really impressive so uh the enb that i've selected that i'm currently using is an enb that is specifically designed for uh nevada skies so you'll need to go ahead and download the ENB application, uh, which you can see here. And what you're going to do is go to this ENB dev website, and then, uh, and I'll go back here. You, this is the ENB dev website, and then you want to navigate down to Fallout New Vegas, and then you want the most recent build, and then you want to scroll to the very bottom where this is arrow that says download, and then click the download, save it and there's the enb engine so that's going to allow anybody's enb presets to work on your system so what we're going to do here is in that zip file we're going to open up that zip file and the version that we want to use is the wrapper version um, this is supposed to be a fallback uh, version the wrapper version it's not actually the recommended version but uh, I've noticed with the four gigabyte patch, I, I cannot get the uh, the injector version to work correctly. So I recommend using the wrapper version. You just grab all the files in this wrapper version folder, and you go ahead and copy those into your Fallout New Vegas directory, overwriting any files that already exist. Okay, uh, one step you're going to want to take here is the d3d9.dll which is the direct 3d9 for directx9 you want to actually copy this into this directory that says exes or else when you try to run the four gigabyte patch it'll throw an error saying it can't find this dll okay so now to see if this worked or not you're going to want to run the four gigabyte exe again and everything worked so at this point, if you tried to run that that four gigabyte EXE and got an error, like an entry load error or a general error, then you want to take a step back, make sure that you copy that D3, D9 DLL into the EXEs folder, um, or you may want to step all the way back and delete all the files in the root of the Fallout New Vegas folder, and then re-download them from Steam and start this process over again. 
But if everything worked, it should look like what you're seeing here. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we've got uh, the EMB engine installed, but we don't actually have any settings installed. So we aren't actually making any changes at this point. So we want to get an EMB. So, and there are a lot of options here. Okay, so this is the one that I'm specifically using. And again, this one is designed to be used with the Nevada Skies mod, which I highly recommend. Uh, you can install this um, without Nevada, you know, without Nevada Skies, which I recommend installing this first. And then, uh, you know, r running the game and playing the game for a little bit. Um, because we will be installing Nevada Skies as one of the mods that we really want to use here. So, you downloaded the... Enhanced Shaders Nevada Skies zip file, and then what we're going to want to do here is uh, there's some instructions we want to follow, but the folders are all numbered. So the first one says installation files, and what we're going to do is copy all of the folders within the number one installation files directory and copy that into our root Fallout New Vegas, overwriting any existing files. Okay. Step two are optional quality presets, and uh, the default here is UHQ. Um, you, again, you can go from the highest extremity of quality to the lowest, depending on the horsepower in your machine. Uh, for my machine, I've got a GTX 7, a GTX 970, <clears throat> so I'm using the uh, the the ultra high quality one, the default one. So, just go in here, number one for the quality and then I take the EMB series INI and copy that into the Fallout New Vegas directory replacing the file that is currently there. Okay, then we want to go up to the optional palettes and you can skip this if you want but here it gives you different kind of color tones. Neutral is the default but you can have a Mojave tone that makes it a little more um, you know gritty and grimy and then you got the pulp one that's kind of like a uh, like a, a, I don't know, a pulp or a noir sort of feel to it. But uh, here we're just going to take the uh, neutral and we're going to copy the palette into the root, overriding any existing files. Okay, and then for optional effects, you've got the FXAA injector, which and all these other options here, I always take the FXAA injector and then copy that into the root. Um, a thing to keep in mind here with this is you need to make sure that when you ran that launcher, you turned off the anti-aliasing. So let's go here and make sure that we've done that because we don't want the game to be trying to anti-alias while the EMB is also anti-aliasing. So we go to options and you see, yeah, okay, so there we go. So for anti-aliasing, you set off. For anti-stropic filtering, you set that to off because the EMB is going to do that for you. Okay, so we've installed our EMB preset now, so we should be able to run the four gigabyte patch and our EMB should be loading now. So the way that you know that this is working is that text in the upper left hand corner, it gives you the version of your EMB and some information about your graphics adapter right in this upper left hand corner of the, of the screen. So if you see that, then you should be good to go and you should have the EMB installed. So uh, let's just load up a game here and make sure everything is working. And it is. Alrighty. And I can't run or anything because I'm over encumbered because I have a mod that gives me uh, 8,000 weight, <laughs> which is not currently running. I have no mods running, so oof. All right, so everything is working here. So okay, so that's really the first step. Once you've uh, done these things, you know, once you've installed the script extender, the four gigabyte patch, and the EMB, uh, now the base mechanics of the game are ready for you. That's the foundation to start with. From this point forward, we can then start installing mods using a mod manager. Very easy. Um, all of that stuff is just a point-and-click sort of thing. So in the next episode, we'll start working through the 
uh, core mods that I consider that really every playthrough should probably have. And we'll start working through that next time. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll talk to you later.